guys and I am back again with one of my art journal videos um, I hope you like it this one is about words well there was a page in which um, they they ask us about what we preferred if we were more uh, science people or literacy people um, and then we had to work either with numbers or with words with letters so I decided I had to join that group and I had to uh, well to participate with my page and that is about letters because I love words I love languages and I don't like so much maths or numbers so well I hope you like it and uh, for doing that page first of all we need a well, for doing that page and almost everyone, uh, we have to use first some uh, gesso, a layer of gesso on it, and the page, so that we can use paintings and other other stuff um, in, in an on pole surface. So after having dried the first layer of gesso, I'm applying a heavy one using a stencil with letters and a spatula. Um, as you may notice, I leave a little space between both pages, that is the middle, uh, because it was very hard to, to work with it. The problem with working in a book and not working in a page like other people do, is that you find uh, some problems mm, when trying to work just in the middle where the two pages um, are together. So, well, I, when, when the, when this, uh, sorry, when the heavy gesso was already dry, I tried to, um, to make some layers in that little space, but it didn't work very well. So, well, at least I tried. And um, the only thing I can recommend to you is to not to work in a book but to work in uh, separated pages and then at the end to join them together. I work with books because I find them uh, useful uh, to keep all of them together, to keep the, the book together and to make the pages one by one whenever I, well, whenever I want to. So, but for me there will be no problem to start doing, doing just only pages and then um, put them all together in a book. When everything is dried, completely dried, then it's a moment to start playing with our um, with our inks, with our ink sprays. And well, this one in this one I mixed some uh, distress this distress ink from the yellow one. The yellow one is a distress ink, and the green one is by Heidi Swap. But the red one that you may find not so colorful, a little, a little bit soft, is um, well, is handmade. It's completely handmade, made from made from some markers and using some alcohol. So mix them together and have it in the spray, so I can use it as a as a spray without any problem. The only difference is that it may dry less colorful than the others, but on the other side it's cheaper, 
So, and of course, it's handmade. It's something you you do. So, well, that's that's maybe something you you want to do. And if you want to do, I highly recommend you to to start to start with with lighter colors because dark colors like brown, uh, blue, dark blue, and so on are are not so beautiful as the bright ones. And of course, to use as much markers as you have, because not all, a marker, a whole, a single marker, uh, does not make the the color uh, you may wish. It may it may be quite soft. Uh, so after you use the sprays, be be careful either to let it dry or to use the heat gun to speed the process. Happy with the background, so I decided to use some tiger uh, acrylic paints, which have a very, a very low pigment, but a lot of shine. So I use them on the letters just to give the letters some bright, some some shine, some, to make them be um, well glittery. And I start using with the, the red side. Um, I use the pink tiger color, but on the yellow and the green side, I use the gold color. So I use both of them. So it 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 has a very good effect. It makes a very good effect, especially using the yellow, the, the gold one, with the green background. Also wanted to create a um, little frame, not so big, but also made of well, letters. So I decided to take another stencil and black acrylic paint and starting tapping with the finger. But it didn't work quite properly because uh, the stencil is quite uh, little. So um, and finally I started using a uh, brush and it worked much better. Sometimes you use the fingers and sometimes you use other tools but of course the aim is to have fun. So if you are if you are seeing that the, that the process is not the, the appropriate you can change the tool and you get what you wanted, the idea you were looking for. Although the background was quite shimmery, I I still felt it was um, some it was something missing. So I chose some um, some random letters and I started painting them using acrylic uh, white acrylic paint. Uh, I had to 
to give each letter um, like five or six or seven layers of acrylic paint uh, because it mixed with the background behind and for example the F um, was always pink instead of white so it was quite hard to, to make the F uh, look uh, like white um, after that I used the pen to retouch the letters so they are more visible finally I decided to use some stickers I had of letters to make the quote which is uh, words are powerful as you may see these stickers are glittery so at the end although you cannot see it properly in the video um, at the end there are two very shiny pages very um, it's like sparkles everywhere so I like it a lot and with that, we get to the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, to have fun. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, we see us on the next video. Bye!